For me, improvisation is, is very important, not just in the music, which is great to be able to make something on the spot, collaborate with people unprepared. There's something so direct and spontaneous about it. Well, I think uh, we, we can look at this show and, and see that there, there's a lot of uh, performative aspects to it. Performance plays a big role, not only in the live music, but also uh, the way certain works were done, the, the silk screen, the paintings. Um, those are almost uh, private performances that I do in, in the studio. Well, when I started using records uh, in the late 70s, this was the medium of choice. Everybody had records at home. For, for me, it was a very kind of punk way of working. I think what I particularly like about how Christian works is well, from my point of view, it's great that he's constantly involving really interesting musicians and technicians as well in what he's doing. We just have John Cage to thank for the idea that we can be interdisciplinary in a, in a, in a, in a space like that. It changes your mentality wherever you are. The thing is with the concert hall is that the audience can sit and it's personal and it's private. The performances are always very surprising. I don't know what is going to happen, but they're all sort of anchored in the show where I, I commission people to, to create new work based on the exhibition. It gives the, the gallery a sort of life. I mean, the art has great life anyway, but you also have people doing performances, you also have somebody making records, you also have somebody printing the sleeves all this work going on. It really feels different than the, your usual gallery experience. It's noisy. <laughs> We've broken the silence. Well, of course, galleries are usually there to present a work which has been, uh, if you like, pre-thought. There's not a great deal in the gallery world that evolves during the course of half an hour. It's not so much about, you know, like um, the perfect environment. Galleries are very echoey, you know, you can hear it now here, uh, they're, they're not ideal. Yet, for me, music is very much about, it's a social event. Gathering people, interacting, listening together, sharing a very special moment. And to actually document it, to record it, to put it on record or a CD or whatever format, it becomes something else. Of course, it's a challenge for everybody because you know we have to produce uh, editions of 500 records every week. It's all very quick and, and uh, spontaneous and, and improvised. I think that that really sort of redefines what an exhibition is. Mm -hmm.